Since you guys loved the last Dead server video so much, I've decided to run it back, but this time with some changes. You see, even a player of my quality doesn't really struggle to progress on a server where there's absolutely zero competition, so I decided to whack on a 6 hour timer and turn it into a sort of race against the clock. I'm honestly pretty surprised what we managed to achieve and the ending really came down to the wire, but without further nonsense, let's get cracking. Okay boys, we have spawned in, which means we need to start the timer and get off to it. Um, I've just spawned in, this is the map, obviously dead server. Uh, it's a nice small map though, so which means, and the experiences that I've had on the server when I have played it, is that when people log in, you can actually normally find them. What I'm seeing that I like is this lighthouse right next to harbour. And that is harbour, right? Not ferry terminal. Spot on. I think we avoid the wolves that are going to try and kill us. Just get green card and go straight to blue. Obviously, there shouldn't be any contest because hopefully there's barely anyone online. And also, we're going to get out to oil pretty soon, hopefully. Uh, looking at the map, Argo, I think, was out. Yep, there it is. We've got Smile there and rig there so we're gonna have to do some thinking on where we want to build but this blue card i mean really should be there i don't think anyone's online at the moment uh because it is 9 a.m <laughs> oh how degenerate using switch let's there we go let's get this bread Okay, wait, quick pause because my microphone actually stopped working. Um, I'm going to grab this fu fuse because that's a bit of extra scrap. I was saying, uh, if we get to the recycler, which I think is this way, uh, I'm technically working from home, so I'm like trying to answer messages as well. People are all like, oh, can you do this work for me? And I'm like, uh, no, I'm playing Rust. Apparently I'm getting paid or something. Who knows? Who knows? Either way, um, I also had some microphone issues just then. It, kept, it just like cut out randomly. So, if you guys want to donate to the Scotty Microphone Fund, please drop a sub. We're um, just coming out, being like one away from 800 at time of recording. And I forgot where the recycler is, which really is an optimal speedrunning technique. Um, in terms of goals, I do want to try and just be solid end game by then. Uh, hopefully that is possible. The thing is, we're not going to get any sort of... Uh, not natural progression, I guess unnatural progression, player-based progression, we're not going to kill anyone. But what we do need is either a lucky find of a hazmat, or a lot of cloth to make a lot of clothes, so we can get some rad protection. Okay, I need a quick bit of wood from here to make a building plan, that way animals cannot kill us using the tiny little strat you hopefully all know, because on white day boys, uh, even though it's not actually white day, but when you start and you're naked, Animal is such a big pain, and using the building plan strat can save you big time. So in terms of guns we have researched, we got SAR um, as our kind of tier 2 weapon. In fact, really the only gun we have. So I might hold off from recycling the semi body, just because if it comes to the point where we have a tier 2 and we don't have a weapon, and we need to craft a SAR, um, I'd rather have that option than not have it. We'll get this green crate though. Oh yeah, a bit of stuff to recycle. Uh, green card, don't need it. Need to manage some inventory space. What I do need is the food though. Okay, I think if we can sneak past this bear, getting into barn and getting a horse, well I didn't think of it initially, is not a bad idea. Because um, we've got a fair bit of scrap, and it's only what, 75 scrap for a horse, and especially because there's a good breed, you can get moving so fast. Oh, I accidentally bought this horse. I went to um, check out its speed and I bought it. So probably got the slowest one a lot. But we'll see, we'll see. I need to follow this road into... Um, what you call the place? Water treatment. And I also need to get some stone. I still don't have any arrows. Oh, that guy's got tarts in his base. Get down, get down. Oh, that could have been a bit of a run-ender. Or not ender, but setback indeed. Sams and turrets there. What a lovely, lovely, lovely base. Okay, water treatment now. I'm gonna get in, get this puzzle done, get the inventory emptied out with a bunch of recyclables, but also see what's restoring us in here. Oh, no way. That's pretty huge. That's actually pretty huge. The 28 slot backpack. I mean, man, we could put so much stuff in there if we wanted to. I mean, I will. Why not? Oh, that is, that's a solo's dream. Oh, is that decaying? I mean, I see exposed armor, so he's either upgraded his base a lot or it's decaying. Definitely worth checking it out, man. I mean, it would be such a come up to have a decayed base.
Okay, nothing too crazy from crates. I mean, obviously a bunch of components, which is nice. Best thing here, though, red card. Um, and let's get out of here. We didn't press the button, did we? Well, that's going. What do you guys think of dead servers? You guys like playing them? Do you? Oh, I thought it was a person. It's a scientist. You like playing them? Do you sometimes play them? Did you only play them to get beginning, or are you a high pop chat only? Let me know. I'm interested to see what you guys think. I started off on these types of servers, and kind of like kept revisiting them because it's always a bit of fun. Right, that was quite the hefty recycle run, and you might say, "Hey, it doesn't look like it," but wait till you see this. Hey, 500 scrap, you know. Uh, just to be fully clear, obviously fully vanilla server. We will. I want now that we're done here. I think we're gonna head up to the space and just see if it is in any way open. Because, uh oh, Mr. Bear's coming for me. Well, it looks, I don't know, not fully decayed. It just doesn't look quite right. Whether that's new building styles or decayed, I mean, we can only pray, can't we? Um, yeah, those peaks look alright. To be fair, I think it's just a beefed up base. Okay, so it's quite literally just these uh, these shops here. But what I have, what has caught my eye, is the crate at power plant. Because I was like, oh, you know, a crate that'll be gone soon. But if no one is online, or at least very few people are, I don't see why we don't go for it. It should be. There we go. Unstarted. Um. Oh my. Oh my days, boys. Microphone again. Cut out. I I don't know how much of that you even heard. I'm very sorry. We Started the crate and then waffled a lot, uh, the usual. Please, <laughs> drop a like and subscribe so maybe one day we can get a better microphone. Oh, that is... How, how, how do I... I can't afford a new microphone, what am I going to do? I can't make a vi YouTube videos without one. Oh, and there we go, I'm dropping my mushrooms. We're going to have to do some thinking, man, some financing. Either way, I might chuck a bag down just here on the edge of the snow. And then otherwise, kind of a case of waiting out till morning, maybe. Well, you know what we can do? What we can do is make a tier two. Um, so if we go to Outpost and use the tier one that's there, we'll make a tier two, then we'll come back, maybe slap down like a two by one or something to kind of base ourselves out of. Hopefully get some food for this bloody horse, man. And uh, and we can progress. Oh, we need to take the stuff out of the backpack to make it, which is these things. And there we go, perfect, perfect. And that gets us closer to making a semi-automatic rifle. Yeah, we just need a fair few more frags and we're actually on to it. Okay, we've done a bit of refining, as you can see. Um, done a bit of crafting with a crossbow coming in five seconds. And I'm trying to figure out what the way to go is. So we've got crate up in five minutes. We want to get a base down because we've got the tier two. Um, and I'd also like to get some scraps so we can buy stuff to make ammo for our SAR. I think the SAR is kind of bottom priority. Crate obviously on the timer. I think we run out, harvest a bunch of wood, just get like a, a one by two or two, a one by one done. Yeah, yeah, and then, and then we can chill from there. I think I think that's the way we do it. Okay, we will chuck this down here. Thankfully, we found a spot where we can build. And it's not too close to launch site. We got the full wood. Oh, I was gonna say full wood base going on, but we ran out of wood and we made a sheet wall. So, um, oh. We've got a neighbor as well, I didn't realize. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, I'm scared because attack heli is around about, and that could light us up. Also, if you notice the server stuttering a little bit, it's like a very... It's a small... It's a, it's a community server, and I think the guy that runs it genuinely lives down the road from me, running off of the computer. So, you know, it's not, unfortunately, running at the best at the moment. Nothing we can do, and it's not terrible. So, we move. Right, Heli's coming straight above us, so um, no weapons, one piece of clothing on us. That's how we're gonna have to do it, but oh, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It did drop another crate, there's two crates here. Oh, hell yeah, that's sick. Oh, and that's probably one of the best crates I've seen. You have to be very careful about what goes to our hot bar here, we don't have to, we wanna set off Heli. Jesus, that's a bloody good crate. That, I mean, that's, that's oil taking, like, gold right there um and we'll be back in 15 minutes for this one in one hour and four minutes that okay this is this is this is the turnaround point this is the the we go big moment but i think unfortunately what we're gonna have to do is hmm there's, there's, I'm, there's a few birds that i want to try and hit with a few stones we can go farm sulfur because we can make a furnace 
make a furnace it wants to get a bit more stone and like that means a little bit of farming we'll get sulfur then we can get some some meds and stuff or we can hit barrels and because we need sewing kits if we want to make like better clothes because i don't want to go to rig in a hazmat suit and we just save up some components and make clothes that way and then we head out to rig and then with that scrap we could also do the smoke grenade strat so a lot of thinking to be done um Mm, and I will I will do it and then get back to you Okay to wrap up our well almost 10 minutes of road farming which to be fair there's a lot of scrap Not so many useful components. I mean the sewing kits are good, but not enough road signs and I don't know, what, what animal is that horse? Okay, I was gonna kill it, but they don't give you anything. I wanted to come and check out this base um, It looks like he hit the, the build like boundary to outpost when he's trying to put the compound on Got a turret in there. But he's got met he's got chain link, but I don't know if there's a turret in there. Got that nice little seat though, that's quite cute. Okay, the mighty love hut. Uh what I was just contemplating quickly is we've got one C4. Now I think this this is like an airlocked one by one. So I am assuming more than one C4 required, given there'll be a, a door here. Not a garage door, I don't think a double door. But still, I assume a door. Um, so while we could one, um, hmm, actually that that raises a good point. We could one C4 the front door, and then if it's another sheet metal door, it's only another one C4, right? So it could be that only could take one, could maybe take two. Uh, if it's like a garage or something, we're screwed. Otherwise, we wait till we get two C4, and then we for sure get it by just going through like you know this foundation in the bottom here. I think we could just pop the front of it. You know, we need to build power plants see what we get from there. I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm not really getting ahead of myself. I'm... I'm undiagnosed a lot of things, man. Alright, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say it doesn't take 30 shots to kill a polar bear. Although I've not played Rust in a few weeks. Uh, so, do excuse the spray. There we go. Nice. That That's quite beautiful, actually. We'll, we'll um, harvest him up and then we'll be quite rich. Okay, see, I'm being a bit careless. I'm running around here kind of with no regard for any potential players. Because whilst I'm very certain there's no one on, it, it just takes one person to log on. And if they kill me, like, because I'm not expecting them and being careless, then bit of an L. Right? Bit of an L. Oh, shit. Okay. Whoa. Person's not gonna kill me if a bear gets to me first. Oh, he's running, he's running, he's running. I think we kill him. I probably shouldn't. Alright, we'll kill him, we'll come back and harvest him. I'm not. Okay, we can't even kill him. Jesus. He used a lot of our arrows. He had us trapped in that train cart for quite a while. Um, oh my lord. A refinery. I mean, the AK is huge, but the refinery is pretty big, you know? We can now just never be short of low grade. Okay, this is this has gone very, very well. I've got to call the casino real quick. Alright, no, no worries. Cheers anyways. Alright, okay. bye-bye. Okay, a quick phone call with the casino done. Um, I'm not sure why they called me. They called me and I called them back. And they're like, up to's. I'm like, well, what do you mean up to's? What are you up to's, you dickhead? And um, well, we went from there. Either way, either way. Timer's back up and we're back into rusting. Um, this was a nice big hole, you know, an AK. So we need to, I think it would just make sense to, to re, well, we've got to research, but craft a bunch of rifle bullets. Um, we can also make some kits, which would be good. Okay, let's buy. I can only buy 10 at a time. That's 50 scrap, you know. That's, that's quite hefty. That's quite hefty. Oh, I'm going to go recycle this and see just like how much it gives me. Okay, not, I mean, 250 frags, not bad, 180 GP, I, I can't do the math in my head. How many rifle ammo bullets does that give me? 25 times by 3, 75, not enough, not really enough. Oh, it's a bit of a tough one. Oh, I mean, get another 50. There we go, we'll have 30 left. You know what the play is? We've put these into recycle while they're recycling. Praying that no one comes to outpost. We play blackjack, double our money, and buy some more. Oh boys, this is this is this is how pros play Ross. Trust me. Up, up, and in. No time to waste. 
We'll play a max bet hand. Get served one of the worst hands you can get. They bust. Hey, hey. I'm just psyching out the casino. Psyching out the casino. We'll continue to play um, $30 hands. Seven on nine. And hit that. Ooh. Can't double. We'll hit that. Easy. Look at this. I mean, boys. Boys, this is... This, when Andrev's low, this is what your favorite YouTuber does, man. We double that. Eight. Yeah, you do double that, don't you? You don't double if it's seven. You don't double if it's nine. You can't double if it's eight. Shit. Oh, but we can make it back. We can make it back. We can make it back. Oh, no. Oh, no. Go and bust. Can't make it back. We can't make it back. Oh, that's why I can't afford a new microphone, by the way. Shit. <laughs> Let's take this and get home, bro. And you want to see the ultimate play? While we're crafting that, we're gonna go. <laughs> we're gonna go raid. I'm um, giving the AK just so I have a, a a gun that has bullets. We're gonna go raid our neighbor straight off the bat. I mean, an hour, an hour and a quarter in. It's not really straight off the bat, but still, we'll toss it on the door and pray there's no door on the inside. If there is, then we just need to get another C4, come back and finish the job. You know what I'm saying? But this is this is pimp chimpin. This is this is this is big plays, big money plays. Way and another door. Okay, to be expected. We can just get another C4. They're really easy to get in this game. Trust me. Okay, so we make a kilt, which is going to be nice. Um, and we need some trousers. I guess we can just have a, make some hide pants. Are they better than burlap ones? I'm making repair bench to skin my clothes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we'll do this. We'll take 125 scrap and we'll go we'll just do smile because we don't have that much money. Also, I forgot to get that airdrop that came in earlier. Shit. Alright, thankfully the sun is arising as we make our trek to the north. I'll try I'm gonna stay out of the snow because we, as you can see, have absolutely no cold protection at all. Uh, thankfully, this rig's not in the snow. Oh, what you do need for a rig that we don't have is cards. Oh, for God's sakes. All right, run it back, run it back. We need to go get cards. Whoopsie. Also, there's the airdrop. Quite far. Could be the move, though. You know what, boys? I'm actually just going to go for this airdrop. I think I think maybe forgetting the cards could be like a sign of a blessing in disguise, you know? Maybe it's got like a mini in it or something. I also need to pick up all this cloth because we got none and um, can't be fucked buying some from Outburst. Another thing that could happen here is that someone's nabbed it. And then like, you know, obviously we're competing with someone if, if someone's online. Um, go check battle metrics to see, but kind of, I like, I like not knowing. There's the airdrop there. Okay, so we're a little bit off. I think we've been to that base as well. Hmm. Getting confused by all these bases around the place. Okay, a C4, please. I mean, two satchels, that's halfway through that door. And a bit of ammo. I cannot say no to that. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And a bit of scrap as well. That's pretty cool, you know? That's pretty cool. There we go. Even more meds. Um, oh, we need that 125 scrap back. And also this time, let's not forget the cards. Now, what's this we've come across? A semi camouflage kind of base. Very wary of um turrets because I don't want to die because that's like the setback. I don't think that's enough to power a turret though. Hmm. Interesting base. Again, possible one to note for future, but no raid is being done at the moment. Oh, and that. This looks decayed. Oh, this could be big. Hey, okay, bit of frags. Bit more frags, that's locked, that's decaying. Oh, this is so low. Oh my days, bro. Do we go grab, I mean, like, how do we get into this? Like, we could do satchels and just speed it up, or we can just wait. I guess we could just wait. Come back and get it after oil rig. Okay, so we're thinking about this logically, yeah? I mean, oh, this is armored, I think. Yeah, that's armored, not brutalist. So, like, my man, this is the entrance. Goes around, around, and then drops down here into here. So we only get through this wall uh, and unfortunately none of those ones are, are decayed enough. I think we just come back. We'll mark this. We'll come back after rig. 
Okay, Smokey, we've arrived, and we should be able to loot every single item from this rig with the large backpack. I'm telling you, boys, it is hella broken when it comes to playing solo with this. I mean, it's kind of the boost we needed. Um, but let's get rid of a few of these uh, guys with sniper rifle, and then we'll continue on. Although there's a concerning lack of ones up top. No, there's no one there. Okay, there are some there. I was thinking, like, if there's none, then that means maybe someone's minied on, and then we'd have some interesting problems to face. Well, they're all aggroed on us down here, which is quite nice. We can just... Oof. Whoa. Okay, he shot me after he left. That's a bit weird. That's weird. I'm taking that. Okay, I don't like this. I'm taking damage after I'm killing these guys. Granted, I'm not hitting my shots, but still. This is a bit weird. It feels definitely not more, not much like client side lag, but server lag. I think I aggroed most of the top ones. Don't look at how long it's taken me to clear all these fellas, alright? That's not information I need to be judged on. I'm getting a phone call from the casino actually. I'll be back in just a second. Okay. So you're okay with that, right? Yeah, yeah, man. Makes sense. Makes sense. Okay. Alright. All right. Let's just uh, have a good time. Have a good, good afternoon. Thank yep. you. You too. Thank you very much. All right. Right. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Mr. Casino call has been done. Um, I don't know why. He's, he's, he's starting yapping to me. And I was like, yeah, mate. I'll be there t t this afternoon. As with every day. Oh, my days, man. You really can't kill scientists, though. You can kill it at the blackjack. Can't kill it on the rig. Anything good? Um, not terrible, not terrible. We're gonna have to start putting stuff in the backpack, however. Right, get these heavies called in. Also, I might... Well, those guys... Ooh, the oak right there is not bad. While well, these guys are coming in, take the fuse I brought. Toss it in here and open this up. I don't know, I don't know how long... Ooh, window. Actually, we're not gonna use that. Okay, these heavies are coming in quite quick. Oh, we're stuck in here. I actually wanna get on crane and not die. Wait, where's the Chinook? Oh, it's still miles away. I had ages. Gives me time to loot this crate then. Oh, funny. There's a lot of CCTV cameras though. Okay, last shot. There we go. That should be all the heavies dead. Um, if I counted right, that's all the heavies dead. Now we move in for the loot, which hopefully... Oh my. Oh, hey. A flashbang. Uh, C4, we can go finish that raid of our neighbor. Right, an MP5 as well, man. You know, not moving too bad here. Another flashbang, boys. We are getting so lucky. It's insane. Oh my god, three flashbangs, boys. Submit this. Guinness Book of World Records, that's crazy. Three whole flashbangs and 64 shotgun shells. Okay, it feels like a bit of a waste having been sat on the rig for 15 minutes when I'm supposed to be doing like a quote unquote speed run or just see how much I can get done. I think crate just opened. Oh no, it's about to just open. Then we can get back to things. Oh, our cargo's out. I didn't see that. We should really go and do that. Yet again, no crazy rush. Um, all right, let's see. This, okay, this is big. Just in terms of arming ourselves up. That's quite nice. I enjoy that. Uh, and a, a spare booty, some car parts. I mean, yeah, that's that's decent. That's decent, John. We can, um, we'll go home. I'm trying to think how I want to do this. Oh, I want to go home, depot this stuff, obviously. But then, low-key, I want to head to the decayed base and then go to cargo. Because we have time for cargo, like, there's no major rush. I feel like if someone logs on, are they going to wander across the decayed base next to outpost first? Or are they going to go out to cargo rig first? And, um, you know, I've got my bets on where they'll end up going. Right, here we are. Um, oh, and it seems... Okay. Alright, I'm kind of glad we didn't blow into this... Is, yeah, oh, he's, and I mean, unless that's just what's in here, he's not very rich. I will use this, though, mate, to, um, oh, quickly reskin, yeah, reskin some of my stuff, please. Does it do that automatically? Is that a plug-in for the server or something? Because, oh, that's weird. Okay, so this stuff is all, oh, God, as it slowly turns to night time. Yeah, that getting through there, we're gonna have to just, it's just gonna be a waiting game, I think. Yeah, because these walls aren't actually that low. Okay, back to the humble 2x1. I think we'll go for a quick turnaround and try to get out to cargo straight away. 
way up on Fishing Village, and it looks like someone's walled in stone quarry there. Um, I guess that would probably be the last thing to decay. Or at least you'd think it would be, given he has access to uh, infinite stone. But we'll see. Uh, not in the dark, though, and I don't want to waste time, because third crate has gone up, so... Not, not completely time pressured, but we are on the clock here. Alright, we can't hang about too much. We need to get these crates on at some point. So, um... I'm gonna kill everyone and everything. I can. There we go. Not too pressed about counters. Right here. Perfect. There we go. Some dodgy frames, but all three crates going within, I think, a minute of each other, which is great. Okay, we could do a bit of, like, a third, first quarter to half time report, even though we're kind of in between both of those sections, but we're not doing too bad. I mean, if this is what you're kind of running around with, um, you're doing all right, what I'm going to say. The server is seemingly not doing all right. It's taken a bit, a bit of time to update stuff, but look, doing doing good, doing good. Um, I think I'm going to, I want to try and do a lot of stuff before that the marker hits. We definitely want to try and get some raids done, but the only issue is farming. Like, that takes time, and I don't think that's how I want to expend any of my time. So maybe looking for decayed bases, given that it's more, that's more in line with the whole dead server theme, I think. Uh-oh. 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 I ran into the blue glue, and now my game's frozen. <laughs> oh no. Come on. Surely not. Because this, this, for some reason, it takes ages to load the game back in. Why is it? I'm just gonna have to like the, the game's like not responding, but I think it's just fully gonna crash. I don't think it's gonna recover, so I might just have to close the program. As you just saw, I did, and uh, reboot it. Don't worry, I'm gonna pause the timer. Uh, pause. There we go. I think this is a good. A, 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 I'm allowed to do that. Boys are almost in. Finally, it's been like genuinely ages. So I'm like so concerned that cargo could be like leaving the map and then we'll be dead to the radiation okay so all the crates should be unlocked it's just a question oh my god we're not dead we're not we're not dead we're not dead we're not dead um i think all the crates should be unlocked we're, they're at the back of the ship no they're at the front of the ship is where we started them um okay let's not overload the game by opening the map too quick apparently jesus we need to get these and get off because i've got no clue how long we've got left I'm not hearing any ticking. Oh, that's a banging crate. I'm not hearing any ticking, which makes me think that they all must be unlocked. We got these stutters that I now get whenever I load into a game, because every time they update Rust, they make it harder and harder to run it. See, there we go. Next crate. Um, okay, I mean three metal chest plates and one crate is not outrageous. Okay. Oh, I tried to throw the rocket. We gotta, we gotta run. We gotta run. Um, can we get that last crate and then we just jump overboard and swim back? I really want this last crate gone the wrong way for it. It's over here. I can see it. I can see it. We're going to start dying your reds so quick, man. You do not even understand how fast you died. Um, laser sight. I take trash 30 HQM. All right, let's go. You got to go. got to go. Oh, we're at the front of the ship. We're not going to be able to make it to the back. We're just going to have to jump off, man. Uh, maybe? Yeah, no. Look how fast these rads pump up. We just got to jump overboard and swim. Take the L. Okay, a bit of a bad situation here, in that we're still gaining rads, and we've got more rads than we have health, and we can't heal in the middle of the ocean. Uh, unless we can find a junk pile to stand on, we're a little bit screwed. But to be fair, we got so lucky with that timing, like an extra few seconds, and we would have been dead. With nothing, instead of dead in the middle of the ocean, but with three crates. So, you know, not the worst outcome for sure. Well, this has been a nice, um, use of time here. <laughs> oh, bro, they've added white barrels to the junk piles. Big news, guys, big news. White barrels have been added to junk piles. Whoa, that's pretty mental. Um, I'm gonna heal up, and then we'll continue to swim. Unfortunately, this big metal base doesn't look like it's decayed and full of juice ready for us to grab. Um, this, this thing, I mean, I'll double check, but nah, not decaying. So uh, not, not much there for us. We just need to continue with the long run back home. Okay, we also need to be careful where we stand. Okay, everything's depoted. We're really running out of storage space. And we've got an armored double door, so we should probably expand a little bit. But before that, we have somewhere in here a spare C4. 
Yes, I think I'm going to use that. Well, this is what we could do. We could use this to blow open that door, right? Or we could save it later on for a raid, and we could use this one rocket that we have. But the thing is, I don't think we have rocket launcher BP. No, so otherwise we could do rocket explode. But we don't have rocket launcher BP. We don't have a rocket launcher. All big problem there. Oh, we just hit halfway. So, halfway report. I mean, we're going tier 3, 3 hours in, not bad. Gonna try to get some raiding done, not bad. I think the only thing that's really gonna hold us back on raiding is getting the, like, sulfur and the GP, which I guess is kind of like the whole part of it. But like, you know, the scrap side's fine, the gun side is fine. And hey, who knows, if one of our raids comes off success, so well, that could lead into a nice, like a pretty nice snowball. Okay, Smokey got a pretty big collection of components going down the hatch. <laughs> I'll see you on the other side. Okay, there we go. All done, 1700 scrap. Not too shabby. A patrol hail is coming in. We don't quite have the ammo. And we definitely don't have the base for it. Okay, time to do some shopping. Um, I need to get myself a rocket launcher. Hopefully it's accessible. Not accessible by drone, bro. Oh, that's a huge... L. Okay, well, nighttime snow, it's not gonna be fun. And I realized I left my horse at outpost, but we're gonna have to go down and check out that shop. I should actually bring the sulfur with me, uh, would be a good idea. And then we'll get the crate as well on the way there or back, just whenever it's ready. Yeah, I made it to outpost, but I'm just gonna wait till Heli disappears off the map, honestly, man. I know it's a, like, uses up a fair bit of time. But oh, can you hear my tummy rumbling? I might go. I'm gonna go make lunch. I'm gonna keep the timer running because it's only fair. Because we are waiting for daytime to to come and Heli to leave. Because uh, I'm not going to the snow with only two pieces of clothing on. That's just a death sentence. I'll be back in a bit. Okay, I'm back. Um, I've had some lunch, but Heli's still out and about. Right, well, coming right towards me. So I have to wait a little bit, and then we'll finally be able to get going. Right, here we go. Should be unlocked by this point. Um, what do we want? A rocket launcher? <laughs> okay, probably one of the worst crates you get. Although I do love the Glock, it's great fun. It's a, not, a, not the best gun, but it's actually... Yeah, that thing with some attachments on it is quite satisfying to use. Wait, okay. Something tells me these shops might not be reachable by foot. And if that's the case, then that's a pretty huge L. Okay, so that's a very large spanner thrown in the works, unfortunately. Um, we have no access to a rocket launcher. We just have to, I don't know, find one, uh, which we have no control over. Uh, that is a huge L. So we need to sacrifice scrap to research it, or um, I don't know. I think maybe we raid our neighbor with that one C4 we've got, and then see what we can come up there. Okay, where's this big base we saw? I thought it was a stone quarry, but I think looking where I placed the marker, it was actually a bit further beyond it. Yeah, and there's a raid base there, so someone's... Oh, someone has raided him, it looks like. Hold on a minute. Right, I figured I have a timer on, so I can't really pretend like how long it took me to jump through that gap. It took ages. But what are we dealing with here? I mean, it, it looks like it's been raided as a raid base, they've gone through the windows, but... I mean, this stuff all looks pretty normal. Okay, so this is just all a shell, and it's into a fully armoured core. Oh, that could be fun though, if we get... I don't know how we're going to get the boom for that, but if we did, that would be a pretty sick raid. Because I feel like, even though... I don't know if he's already been raided, it just feels like he might be loaded, you know? Uh, what I do know, the move is... Actually, you know what, we should... We should leave our C4. That'd be silly to use our C4. The move is... Cook up tier 3. Craft Explode. Because we got that BP'd. And then... Trade our, our neighbor with uh, two satchels and some Explode. Honestly, boys, I just crafted some up and we're gonna have tons. So, um, I could do the whole thing as Explode ammo, probably, but... I don't see why I would. And we can just, uh, toss some satchels on and then get cooking. There we go, and it should be about two magazines of the saw. There we go. And this goes, and then we'll pop one more, uh, well, a few more bullets in and see how many it takes. Perfect. Oh, yep. 
piece of this mate. Spot on. Um, oh, this is not looking good. Okay, well, safe to say I'm glad I didn't use my C4 on it. But a Tommy. <laughs> uh, he's got a Thompson and a hazmat. Uh, yeah. And a bit of metal. Okay, I mean, maybe TC will have something in it. Who knows? Who knows? Oh, he's 600 scrap, you know. 800 cloth. I mean, it was not outrageously bad. And how much low grade in there? Oh, sometimes people stash like 500 in their lanterns, man. It's pretty impressive. Ah, oh, well. Good luck, young fellow. Okay, boys, so that's our first raid out of the way. And now we've got some, like, decision-making to do. What's the play? I mean, I, th I think we buy a mini and then we go and, like, do stuff with it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, maybe, like, go take large or something. But otherwise, I'm a bit... I'm a bit stuck for what to do, because like, I really want to raid kind of this base, but that's going to take, uh, like... At least 16 rockets, I think. And uh, that's 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 gonna be... I don't know if that's attainable in only two hours. Here's the heli lady, so we will chat to her. Buy that. There we go. Toss the extra fuel in. And uh, we'll head to large, I guess. Oh, we've got enough stuff. Ammo, meds. Oh, not very many bandages, but... Nah, look, we'll see. What does this guy have in his room? He's got a SAM site. Okay. Alright, that's nice to know that he's got SAMs up there. Granted, they're basically raiding his own base for him right now. Okay, let's uh, stay nice and low. You know what? I can't actually remember the last time I took large from the helipad. Actually, no, I do. I don't think it made it to a video because it was like a terrible wipe. And uh, I died because I came here with like a, just a revolver and a crossbow. Either way, revenge that. Hit these guys. There we go. Ready? Way. Man just got M dub two. Okay. There we go. That's that red card. Oh wait, no, you actually need to I forgot you have to go in and hit the thing. Oh. Ooh, an AK. Oh, is there not supposed to be a crate there? I feel like that uh, I'm just missing one. Oh, and the nail gun, great. The coffee can nail gun elite crate. The best of them all. And another backpack. Watch this, you can put a backpack in a backpack as long as it's got nothing in it. Don't know how he got down there, but I think we've killed them all. I've just been taking it slow because we have to wait for the crate anyways. Um, it's always hard to know when you've killed them all on large because I forget to count. But I guess we could run around and see if we run into any of them. Or you could just run up here. See if any of them shoot ya. Yeah. I'm not gonna take a lot of hey, a lot of these guys loot, I was saying. I'm gonna take the shotgun shells now though. That absolute beauty of a weapon. Oh, an LR and a GL. Now that that was an insane heavy that one. Okay, I really need this to be a rocket launcher because time is closing in on us low key. We got an Hour 40 and I'm not sure what to do, but... Ooh, okay. Not the worst. We get a C4. Um, I, believe it or not, I don't want to actually pick any of those things up. There we go. Drop that as well. Ugh, it's not ideal, man. It's not ideal because we're... We're in a tight spot. We're like, we're in the... Almost the crunch zone. I'd say the final hour is definitely the crunch zone. We want to be wrapping stuff up. But we're kind of still, you know, trying to expand our wealth. I think we need to get some raids done, but I'm not sure what way to do it. Oh, but what is a good point with this C4? We'll go back to that decayed base. We can, I reckon we can blow the core open. Two C4 and a bit of expo. We'll be laughing, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna craft up uh, all the stuff we just cooked while we were oil into, there we go, explosive ammo, and run over with the just the expo, the two C4, to that half decayed base. How far is it? We could run there instead of mini. Uh, we'll just see how far we get and what we can get done, you know? So just to check, this one isn't decaying, eh? No, this one's fully healthy. Alright, fair enough, fair enough. 
I'm pretty sure they're owned by the same person. I don't know. Maybe they're not, but it would make sense if they were. Um, I just gotta think, what's cheaper to go through? Uh, okay, that's not going down at all, so almost a full health carriage door. And that's not even into core, and this is, and it's a half health sheet door, or sheet wall. Which, I think... We now check the roof. No, the roof's armoured. I think we just head on in, mate. I can... You know, we do. We do after the scoop or after two. a C4 or two. Whoosh. Oh, it opened. Nice. Um, I... Oh. Ooh, oh, oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Alright, let's uh, get this TC out of here, right? Um, 200 scrap, 700 GP, 500 cloth. Oh gosh. Yeah, I'm not feeling too optimistic about this one, eh, boys? Oh, he's got a revolver. Why has he got this type of base? Why, oh, I mean, a C4. Aft, like, aft the profit back? Oh, son. Son, son, son. You were not cooking, unfortunately, mate. Nothing I want really at all. Oh gosh, man. Um, oh, does he have pants? Oh, he's got pants. Never mind. The raid was worth it, boys. We are now fully clothed. Actually, are those forest raider pants? So that's just. Oh yes. Oh yes. There we go. I don't even have to skin them myself. He's done it for me. Oh, I just got like my back to the whole world in case this guy pulls up. He can, you know. I don't mind if someone kills me. They can take all this. I'm rich, you know. Oh well. Oh well. Nothing much worth sticking around for. Uh, let's, I don't know, figure something else out to do. I mean, so there is like that whole other component to this base, but I just don't think it's worth raiding into it, um, given that that's what his core was like, and his core was empty-ish. So I'm not overly excited. Okay, well we need to actually nip back and grab all of that low-grade out of the pile. I did that. The pump jack at power plant. There we go. That should be done by now. Nice. I said I'd try not forget. Oh, oh shit. Right. Okay, that's happened. Um, let's just move past it. That's happened. Nothing we can do. There's a crate at power plant though, um, and one of the person online the server, maybe they come down to do it? No, okay, I was going to say, I'd make quite the entrance if there is someone here just trying to like sneakily hold it and you see some guy buffooning along, blowing up his mini. Oh well, oh well. Like it was helping as much anyways, I mean, we did one large with it and then, I don't know, it's nice to hop, be able to hop around the pl I'm just, I'm just trying to cope, I'm trying to cope. In all honesty, guys, I think there's only one reasonable thing to do, and that is get oh, another 750 scrap, get another mini, and I just fly around and like see what bases there are. Maybe we can finally find a decayed base and put it in the thumbnail. You know what I'm saying? All right, here we go. We'll buy an aircraft. Nice. We'll put the fuel in said aircraft. And um, I think we just take off and fly around. Try and avoid some SAM sites and see what's cooking. No, no, no. Is this decayed or did he just never finish the honeycomb on it? That is the question. I think he just didn't finish the honeycomb. Or maybe that's pre- Oh yeah, actually he actually didn't finish the honeycomb on the side either. Okay. I mean... Armored door. Armored roof. But, yeah, hmm, 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 let's think. I mean, that's quite predictable, I feel, in the way he's done this. One, two, three, four. A lot of doors. Oh, airdrop, hey, chuck us another C4, and that would actually be not too shabby. I forgot that's the other thing you can do with a mini, go hunting for airdrops. Oh, not quite. You know, I might try and see if I can not land on this guy's roof. I know he's got sands, and they're on, like... The very bottom of the roof, if you know what I mean. But surely we can still, if we decrease, 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 do you think we could land?
I mean, like, if we peek our head up, can you land there without the Sam's triggering? Shit, shit, shit. I mean, maybe we could drain them? Is that possible? Could we drain them? All it takes is that like, one of these to hit us and we're crashing there. That one on the left might be out. Hopefully they're also destroying themselves. That one on the left isn't... Oh, there we go. Wait, no, it locked onto us, but it didn't fire. One on the right's not firing. Going into land. That guy, by the way, he's died now, so... He's gonna get notified on his phone if he's got that. I need to come here with ladders. Yeah, they, they injured themselves. Vending machine. Oh! It's a lot of stock. This could be... Do I have a C4 on me? No. Ah! Oh, that could be a fun raid. And you get into there, into that locker kit, just with one door. I need to come back here. Tarts are off. We need to come back here with like a bunch of ladders, I reckon. I think this is where we mess around. Okay, this is really actually all the boom we've got, um, crafted. And I don't want to burn sulfur. So we're just going to have to go in with, I don't know, 60 x blow, a C4, and two satchels, and just see. I definitely want to get that locker. That's the first thing I want to get. And, um, from there, I guess we'll see. Uh, probably not going to have any boom on the top floor, but maybe a cheeky AK kit or something. You know what I mean? Uh, and, uh, let's, I think, squeeze down. Oh, squeeze down too far. Oh, well. We... It's a python, but there's nothing in there. It's not even hooked up to the electricity. Weird. Weird, weird. Um, to raid this... Armored door... Okay. And then into this. Alright. Let's get back up. And go into here and get a locker kit. All right, maybe we do that. Hey, maybe we do that. How do we raid it though? We could, I think we just two satchel and a bunch of exploit. That would be my personal preference. Oh, and this I think just goes... Oh, no way. Oh, no way. Surely he's... Wait, what? Why are they all unlocked? Yeah, that's... Okay, that's not. All right, that changes. What do we do now? I think we... Oh, we can still... I think we I think we see for this and we can always go and do the top door later with uh, this I think that's all good all right we'll toss that and we'll see what comes out of it all right let's see what's here surely oh, that one's locked damn it I mean that's soft sideable though we here's we'd soft side that it would just be a pain to repair all the jackhammers. Oh well, let's give this a blow. We had a work message to respond to. There we go. And, um, oh, it's locked. Oh, oh, wait, no. <laughs> Three rockets? Why has he got... I mean, I, I take this as a raid defense kit, but why... Why like that? Why? What says that smokes or HEs? Okay, that smokes. Like, why? Why has he got real rockets in the raid defense kit? This is pretty sick. I, I know the comments could be like scripted, scripted, scripted. No sir, no sir. Okay, here we go. Oh, wrong one. Ooh, okay, an AK kit and some. I mean, like a full heavy kit. Oh, an HLMG. Let's see that. I'll take the black gloves, because I don't have that skin. Um, and then, I guess, an AK with nothing much, some heads. Okay, well, we've got three rockets. Can we raid... Oh, that's not how you shoot rockets. Can we raid that garage door? I guess we just have to, like, splat... How do we do this? How do you do this? Let's see, let's see. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's perfect, that's perfect.
Also, we got one more rocket now. Well, we've got the launcher. We can go back and get our other rocket, which is pretty sick. Um, let's see, what health are we at? Oh, yeah. This should do it. Glad we didn't miss. Um, oh. Both locked. Oh, no. That one's not. Oh, and this is the front door. Another two satchels. Some airdrop loot. Okay, okay. I'm not too unhappy with what we're seeing, you know? Nothing in here. Oh, he doesn't lock anything. Look at this. That's unlocked. Now that's unlocked. <laughs> what on earth? Half these garage doors are unlocked. It's crazy. I wouldn't be able to raid and bro for shit if you just locked something once in a while. Also, while we're here, I'm going to do a cheeky reskin. Oh no, that's a research table, you don't have skin items. Here, I'm going to do a cheeky reskin. Okay, so back, we have like 30 expo. Uh, I think, wait, that is expo, right? Yeah, 30 expo exactly. Uh, two satchels and one rocket at home. So not too much, but not, not too little. Also, by the way, we just hit the, well, five minutes ago, we hit the five hour mark. Which means one hour left to maybe try and get into this guy's core. Not too bad, I like a challenge. Right, I think I've actually devised a bit of a plan. And I think the plan is going to be, we're going to recycle a bunch of stuff. But we got these HVs and we got a launcher. I think we should probably go and do Bradley. There's a launch site on this server, so um, instead of letting it hinder us with its SAM sites, why don't we go and take advantage of it with its uh, lovely Bradley. Let's see, how much is it to research one of these? Oh, 125. Easy peasy. Oh, whoa, whoa. That was... Sam site's going off. Someone's flying around. Someone's flying around on my watch. Can't have that. So, not only is someone on, someone's got mini. Quite exciting, isn't it? Could have crashed, or they could be somewhere else. That kind of takes the the Bradley idea makes it a bit more exciting now that there's always the possibility of a counter given that I assume they're geared that, that, that flashlight's moving way too fast to be a scientist I think that flashlight's moving too fast to be a scientist yeah someone's in Oxum's yeah there's no way that's a scientist right? Yep, they're running this way. Let's see. It's a full metal, I think. Are they going up? They are. I think we should try and take him out. Next ladder he gets on that we can... Yeah, we can dash him in the head when he comes up this ladder. One. Um, I mean, he can't get out of here without us seeing him. If we walk till we get an angle on him... Eh? Wait, maybe he did crash his mini if he's now on foot. There he is. He's using bandages? He's dead. Ah, okay. It looks like he was full kit. He's running bandages, and he crashed his mini, it seems like. Where did his body fall? Also need to be wary of him respawning. He lives nearby. There he is. Oh, he was burlap. Oh, it's Pictogram. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I ever released that video, but he was a uh, an enemy of ours. <laughs> he was an enemy of ours a long time ago. Well, not a long time ago, like two wipes ago maybe on this server. Oh, that's quite funny. Ah well, we will continue home, or back to home. I don't know, M39 Burlap, is he much of a threat? Let's get cracking, eh? Let's get cracking. He'll take Bradley. Only half an hour left, you know, it's um, getting a bit tight. It is indeed getting quite tight. We need to get this Bradley and then just go, what it, I hope, pray for C4 rockets. We don't get C4 rockets, then we're in the mud and if we get C4 rockets, we can definitely get past that last garage door. From there, 
who knows, you know, who knows. Yeah, before we do this, I will do a cheeky battle metrics check because it doesn't make sense that that guy's roaming burlap and then I heard Sam's go off at the same time, so let's see what's cooking real quick. Yeah, no, there's there's more that there's there's it says three people online, so it'll be one fella in the mini, me, and then that picto dude that um oh my game crashed. Let's pause the timer. <laughs> I hate to have you back in and out. Wait, so I've just come back and we're dead? Okay, that's a bit weird. Um, hmm. Gonna respawn at base. Chuck a hazmat on and just run back. I'm not sure what's going on. Oh yes. Perfect. Oh, we're lagging a bit. Let's double check. It's not my ping. Oh, they're, they're, all right. Hmm. I'm gonna shoot it and see if we can attract it. I think that's done the job. That was scary, the way that that glitched just then. Oh, and she can machine gun us from there. Oh, we're getting a bit low here. Need to be a bit careful. I need to watch out for counters too, because there's people on now that it's 3 p.m. A few breaks included in that. There we go. The travel time's taking a long time. I think the server's struggling. myself there, but that's Bradley Dunn. <laughs> I thought I'd clipped the edge with that rocket. Not ideal. That's good. That's good. That's good. I'll take 60 explode. That's not bad. That's bad. And last one. Even worse. Okay. Well, well, well. Let's, um, get out of here, right? I think it's only three crates, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it's only three crates. Let's get going, man. We had, oh yeah, there we go. We had this as well. I don't see much of this stuff coming in use. Maybe bringing in jackhammer is not a terrible idea. I think we just get ready to move. We don't have as much as I thought we did. Oh well, we got a lot of expo. That's kind of what's carrying this raid. Um, give me this. Give me the ladders, just in case. And I think we just need to go cook. I think we start with like cheeky two satchels and then do some expo. We don't have a bag down here. Oh, 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 okay. All right, there we go, that was nothing. We don't have a bag down here is what I was trying to say. So if something goes wrong, it goes pretty wrong. Okay, not what I wanted to see, in all honesty. Armored door. Um, no traps, oh, or is it not loaded? Okay, that's... I'm quite concerned. That would have shot me, right? It would have shot me by now. Ooh, oh, no, no way. Scripted content. Three rockets. Empty shotgun. It is empty. The shotgun trap is empty. Scripted content. I'm telling you. Okay. Well, this is where his good kits are. Um, please tell me it's got HEs in it. Ah, oh, smokes. Smoke, smoke, smokes. Not ideal. Um, let's see if we have enough to get through here. It's, no, the hatch isn't open. The door's definitely locked. <laughs> Making sure he's not done any more of these silly things he always does. I think... Oh, four rockets? I don't, I don't know if four rockets is enough. Four rockets is not enough. Four rockets is not enough, but maybe four rockets, some HEs, and some Explo is. Is it on a stone fr It's on a stone frame. Four rockets is enough. We're so back. We are so back. Let's put it on a stone frame, the silly billy. Ever since the buff, that's not a good thing to do. Oh, I thought I died there because of the frame, like, lag. I was so depressed for, like, half a second. Right, this should be it. That was weird. But we're in. No way, can we hit that? Can we... What? Why can't we open that? Uh, if I tweak my lookout radius, I reckon we can open that, but either way... 
Yeah, no loot here. Oh, but food though. No, I can't get this barrel. Um, and we need to just get through this wooden frame. Shit. I think we might just have to... I think we generally might be finishing this just one door away from TC. I mean, give it a crack. You know, just start shooting it out. It's this corner here. Yeah, that did fuck all. Did genuinely nothing, man. Yeah, she's not looking too good. Is that that's the damage on the door? To be fair, what's the damage on the? Uh, it's a, oh, okay. All right. Weird. Not enough. We need more rockets. You know what? One last play. I think. This is like the overtime play, you know? We'll do this, it might take a bit more than 10 minutes, but if it works out, if it works out, then we'll continue. We'll soft side into his shop and see what that's got, you know? I think they're that, because he's selling stuff for sulfur. So if there's a bunch of sulfur, I'll leave all the sulfur to cook up, and yeah, we can go on from there. Um, right there. And these are actually locked. But this, let's off side this, and we'll be chilling. Okay, here we go. We've got three minutes left, and we're in. Um, I think I saw a box here or something, so I want to see any loot bags dropped. So no, no, no loot bags. Okay, just the shop then. Oh, that's not ideal, mate. That's not ideal. Cannot move item. Oh, there we go. I need to like jump if I want to do it. Um. I mean, some Arctic hazmats. I mean, you have to pay real money for those. Apart from that, they have an empty deal, mate. They have an empty deal. Oh, well. And I see cargo's coming in. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. We're almost at six hours. I think we have to call it there. That's that's the rules, mate. Okay, I've been chatting to people in chat. Um, the people that are online. And I don't think we're going to be able to source any rockets. Which is a bit of a shame. Because we do need three. Getting three, like getting one, you know, that's fine. We can maybe get a C4 from an airdrop or something. Getting three rockets, it's a bit of an ask. And as we come up with 30 seconds left of this uh, challenge, if you will, I think we just have to take this as a reminder. Always close your garage doors. Always upgrade your, your door frames if they're on an armor door since the patch. And, um, yeah, fuck, thanks everyone for watching. This is, uh, where I think I'll leave you, unless I can fi I'll find someone to give the stuff to, actually. I'll find someone to give the stuff to, but as far as the time and the challenge is concerned, that is us. Done. See you in the air. Okay, challenge done. I can stop acting weird now. Let's go give the stuff away, as long as I don't get stuck. Okay, I found someone, and um, actually, it's a base that we had marked for possible raid <laughs> which would be quite good but uh, I'm gonna go out and I think I'm gonna see if I can pick this fella up and drop him off at our base and just unlock the door but this guy says he got raided overnight such is rust but look I've done pretty well for six hours I think so uh, we'll see what we can do oi 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 He's doing a gap, he's putting strobes all around his base. Yo. Um, I got something for you, geese. Uh, oh, it's, you've got this base. When did you get raided? Or are you just logging off? I just logged on then, man. I just, I don't know, last night sometime. You've not, this hasn't been raided, Brev. The doors are open. Fixed it. Oh, you fixed it. That's weird. Blew I off that door. That's this weird. door. That door. They blew off four roller doors or four garage doors. Oh. Are you using rockets? Uh -huh. I I came down here at like three hours ago and I it was all intact, which is really weird because I would have noticed if someone was raiding. I thought. Ah, well, look. Upkeep was uh, in the uh, TC, look. so it wasn't upkeep. It, it had to be a fucking raid. Yeah, nah, you're right, you're right. That's weird. Either way, man. 
Bottom bottom right J10. Wood two by one. Go to it, okay? He keeps placing. Bottom space. right where, sorry? Bottom right J10. You got that? Oh, I like his AK. Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah, I'll go that. Go there. There we go. We'll go unlock the door. Actually, maybe we'll chuck him a bag as well. Yeah, there we go. Give to friend Scholar. There we go. Alright. Thank you always very much for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe. Um, don't know. Wire transfer me every single penny you have. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one.